Hello, if you're looking at this, you're thinking, Dean, are you about to sneeze? The answer, probably not. But this was recorded about two months ago, uh, and I figured I would finally get this series actually underway. I recorded a couple more episodes today. Uh, so if you have forgotten, we're basically playing AFL Evolution as a fantasy league and uh, kind of ties in a little bit with AFLX, but also not really. Um, because obviously AFLX, they picked sort of these super teams to play as. But uh, I'm sure you're tired of looking at my face about to sneeze. So let me just present you with the video and uh, we'll continue with this series very soon. Leave a like if you enjoy it. Bye. Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Dean, or as most of you know me, Twisty. Today we are going to do the first round of our, uh, our, uh, our, what are we calling this, uh, ultimate team mode, fantasy team mode. Uh, going to be an interesting one. we got a, a quality lineup, I like to think, and we're coming up against the West Coast Eagles here in the first round. Could have been arguably the grand final this year. If the Tigers had won the other prelim. Could have been the grand final in 2020. I th I genuinely think these will be the top two sides next year. But what a way to kick off our season. Who is their captain? Is that Jack Steven? There it is. And Patrick Cripps in a Tigers jumper. Gee, looks good, doesn't he? This is going to throw up some interesting ones in terms of looks of how things are going. Uh, we are playing Legend. I'm going to play three and a half minute quarters to start. So the West Coast Eagles return to the MCG for the first time since their Premiership winning 2018 with a completely different looking lineup. What have they got here? Stephen Shepard McVeigh. Is it looks like I should be able to pummel this side. It really does. You guys trust? I trust in me that I can destroy. Look at that Dyson Heppel, Jordan Lewis. Probably a couple of the, the big name players on that side. See how it goes for them. I'm going to change Richmond's theme song to that banger of a tune, which is the remixed version. So I'm going to put that in whenever Richmond... So that I'm going to change it so that that plays whenever Richmond runs out now. So many memes I can create. Anyway, Captain Patrick Cripps to the middle to uh, do the toss of the coin with Captain Jack Stephen of the West Coast Eagles. Stephen has the call. Calls heads. It is ahead. They will be kicking to the punt road end to begin this one. But I'm liking where we're going to go about this. I think we've got a quality outfit, a big lineup, and Stephen Martin. In Tiger's colours looks good. Oh, Jesus. Get rid of that stupid timing indicator, please. Okay, here we go. This is O'Meara out of the middle. Handballs it off to Stratton, and already the Tigers are on board. This is Oliver inside the 50 to Buddy Franklin. Oh. This is going to be a side and a half here. Like, good luck taking us on. The big Budwar kicks the first. Am I on Legendary? I bloody hope so. We are. Jeez, it seemed so simple, didn't it? It really did. Alright. Finally get my camera back to normal. Gotta remember how to play this game. <laughs> Here's to Goey. Little ball inside the Ford 50. Arazio Fantasia. It's the big lead there. Oh, gee. It's a bit of hacks. But he takes the mark. And Orazio has missed everything. So we are going to make the most of our chances is what we're going to have to do. Oh no, and a turnover straight back to him. So Orazio has kicked another. And it's the Tigers early by a couple of goals. Oh, couldn't quite get on the end of it. And another big Steph Martin. Jeez, there's a bit of tackling here and a bit of pressure from the Eagles. Finally get inside the 50 and find Dixon. You can spot him up and have a shot for goal. And he puts it through the middle. So the Eagles get their first on the board through Tory Dixon. They get around him. Oh, and again through the middle, the Eagles find Sinclair. There's also a man in the goal square. I think it's Ben Brown, but he's... It's going to have a shot here. Flying shot at goal is home. So the Eagles kick another. 
Sends it inside the 50 to Big Boy, Magavoy. And I just need to warm up my voice a little bit, everyone. It takes some time to get into it. And I've already started to go hard early, and it's uh, it's costing me dearly. Yeah, Steph Martin, what has he got? He's got the handball release here. Little one over the top, the big Franklin. He could turn and go here, buddy. He does just that, but he's hooked it. To the left, to the right-hand side. Throw on the ball, free kick. To the Tigers, this is Steph Martin, go short, looking for Buddy. Late in the term, no one can get hold of it. Can they get one last opportunity here? As Franklin throws it away, and you would think that would take us to quarter time, although, Cripps has taken the mark. Where is Franklin? Goes short for Rewalt, that's a beautiful kick. Hits him, lace out. An opportunity late in the first term. For Jack Rewald to hit the front for the Tigers. He sends it on its way and home. Well, that is quarter time. It's Gaffer's going to have a ping from a long way and it's not going to go anywhere. But uh, that'll do us. That will well and truly do us. The Tigers lead the Eagles by a point at quarter time. But what a matchup we've got here. I like it. Gaff along the wing. As a bounce, little chipping ball looking for Romero and he finds him. He's got Rioli over the top if he goes in that direction and does. Where's Big Bud? He's looking in towards the pocket for Kerno. It's going to miss everyone. Could even roll through for a goal, but it's just the one behind. Well, oh, that is a horrendous kick. That is a poor decision there. And the Tigers win himself a free. Just all kinds of chaos. From the West Coast as Rewalt can put another one through. And he can line up 35 metres out, 30 degree angle, although he's had a bit of a mare there. Not sure why he's decided to pass it to Sinclair, but he has. And Sinclair will put this one through. So the Eagles get their fourth. It's four straight 24. West Coast playing the Tigers 4-2-26 with a two-point lead. 12 minutes gone, second term, out of the middle. This is the big boy, and he goes inside 50, finds Big Ben Brown for the West Coast. And he puts through goal number five. He's gonna go long towards Andrew, Bra Angus Brayshaw down there. Cut off by Marley Williams, sees an option inside the forward 50 he likes. Couldn't quite get a hold of it. Marcus Adams, lie set. Lots of pressure down there, picked up and off the deck from Dixon. Free kick against Ben Stratton. And the Eagles use that to go inside 50 to Dixon, who finds another option in Collier. Will he have a shot this time? He didn't have the shot last time. 35 metres out. Not a lot of angle, and he puts it through again. So West Coast. Another one over the top. This one's looking for Gaffin. Finds him. Where's this next kick going? He can go long to the top of the goal square or into the pocket for Rewalt. He's going to line up. Not a lot of angle. 15 or so metres out. He's going to snap this one around the body and through. So the Tigers. Hamling, he looks stuffed. Oh, but a, gee, you thought he put enough tackle pressure on. And they find Tom Bell. Or is he always injured? But he's put another one through for the Eagles. Eagles with a 19 point lead. Cripps looks a little disappointed with his side's first half performance. Jones gets a fist in there. Now Stratton got absolutely dumped. And it's a goal to Dixon. Here's Daniel Wells injecting a bit of class. Gets out of there. Somehow finds a handball to O'Meara. Finds Rioli now. Has a bounce. Inside the 50. Handball to Charlie Kerno. Right foot snap. Got it. Oh, into the post. Kick. Sends it inside 50. Rewalt. On the lead. Just doubled back. And all of a sudden, an opportunity to bring it back to just a nine-point ball game. They'll have an opportunity. Tight angle. Decides to center it. Shouldn't have done that. Should have had a shot. Steph Martin's involved. A right foot snap around the corner goes through from Jack Sinclair. And the Eagles push the margin back out. But Thomas is there to pick it up. Stratton involved. Long right foot ball at goal. And a big, oh, big grab from Ben Brown over Hamling down there. Gives the Eagles a 22-point lead. It's a 24-point lead. To the Eagles. 
And that's what it will be at three quarter time. Can Cripps and his men lead this Tiger side back into this match and a potential opportunity? He sends it towards Collier. And already the Eagles looking dangerous and threatening early. And Lewis takes a mark over Clayton Oliver. And again, gee, there's just a lot of pressure. Oh, there's just no tackle pressure there either. Ben Brown kicks the goal. And then all of a sudden, the lead blows out to 30 points, which is exactly not what the Tigers were looking for. Rich will send it long through the middle looking for Cripps and got him. He will go long in the Arazio direction. But again, there's just a lot of bombing it forward here from the Tigers. Here's Franklin. Oh, gee, even he couldn't do anything. Kerno, Rewalt, finally. Kerno. Oh, don't stuff this up. Cripps will kick. Ah, oh, no. A point. A point. Heel. Ends it long inside the 50. And oh, Tom Bell got up high. Nice grab there in the pack. And he puts through another one to finish the game off. And a bit of cake on the icing. Or the icing on the cake for the West Coast Eagles. They have a 35 point lead. And you would assume that he will be very close to the final margin. Kerno has finished this game off well. Oh no, that is horrible. That is horrendous. But as we said, it is going to be the Eagles who will take home this victory and it is 35 points so plenty of thinking to do for the Tigers after that one I thought our side was okay but they just we struggled we did struggle at times to really put anything together there was no real flow in the play there was no real defensive efforts that is all for today's video everyone thank you so much for watching uh, this is an interesting series. We'll see how it goes over the summer. Um, not going to be streaming this, by the way, because I'm going to try and do as many of these in advance as I can so that they're available to view at any given time. Um, but that is all. Have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm starving myself with a premium midfielder, though, if I go for Franklin. Fine. Buddy's the pick. Also, it looks like Tom Lynch to the pies. <laughs> God damn it! Tom Lynch to the pies. Tom Lynch to the pies. Look, I'm going to go with Paddy Cripps for the midfield. Oh, an opportunity for another.